climate has totally changed in Kenya. Sometimes we do expect the, the, the fields to come. Now we see there is drought because the trees have been cut. I think when the trees were there, the rain was enough, but now the rain is inadequate. So we have a problem of famine in every area in Kenya. We have to plant trees in a very large quantity. In everywhere the, the trees were cut, we must return the trees so that the forest can be the way it was even before. It's very important to destroy Langi Forest because more than nine rivers originate from the forest and all of them they feed to the largest Kenyan river which, which is suitable for irrigation and hydroelectricity. <laughs> Many women have the responsibilities of their families, yeah. especially collecting fodder, firewood. There is over reliance of the forest. If they continue invading the forest, the trees will continue to decrease. When we empower women, everybody in the family is empowered. We have several women groups and we are getting a lot of education from us. When we come together, especially we, we women, we used to build one another. Through experiences, how, is your, how are you getting on in your family? How, what hardships are you facing in your family? When you come here, we sing, you are working together, you are being inspired, and at the end of the day, everybody is relieved. The one we do here, we are planting trees. We benefit from them very much. After we grow the seedlings which we put in our nurseries, after they mature, we used to buy, to sell them. That money is promoting our family. Especially, we are not all that poor. We, can, we have improved our living standard. And if we fail in our duty of planting trees, especially here along, around Mount Kenya, we survive everybody in Kenya. Because at the end of the day, the rivers will just dry up. Women never, they never surrender. Either there is money or not, but the fact remains that we are there to plant a tree for the benefit of all Kenyans. When we are together as women, we are courageous because even when there is drought, we sit together where we donate some money to help each other. And so we are able even to educate children through what we get from each other. With many groups, we try to mobilize them together and empower them with more knowledge so that they can understand about the native species. Eh? They are concentrating much on exotic species and the crop yield have totally declined because of the type of trees people have planted on their farm. Of course, the soil to be unfertile. So we try to encourage the farmers and the groups and communities to concentrate more on restoring either the community farms or the forest, using the native species. And also indigenous trees. They have a lot of medicine used before by the old people. My grandmother was telling me there are special trees you are supposed to take with soup to cure the diseases. So some women have come to know the, the use of the trees. And even there is a tree which they use for family planning. And even we have another sacred tree, Vigas tree. When there is no rain, people could go and pray under that tree. Nobody was supposed to cut that tree from the beginning. Even now, we are not supposed to cut the, that tree. So I think women are the ones we, who have interest of the forest and even the trees. Especially in November, we planted around 50,000 trees. The trees will uplift our lives and the life will not be the way it was before.
My name is Kenya Ferenc and I'm part of the core team at Tree Sisters, which is an international organization and global network of women who are supporting the reforestation of our planet. And we have planting projects all around the world and the one here in Kenya is really a shining example of women stepping into leadership and really making a difference. My name is Bernadette and you could call me the original Tree Sister in that as they're involved in its origins. It's been a really amazing process coming here and, and, and seeing what's happening on the ground. It was lovely to go and see trees that had been planted six months ago and, and to check up on them and to see that 80% of them were still alive, healthy, at a healthy height and standing a really good chance now of reaching maturity. Deforestation is still happening in Kenya and there's still so much more to do and the reason why I'm a tree sister is because I really want to be part of that solution and this really isn't just about Kenya either it's about the whole planet because research is proving more and more that the trees around the equator are essential for mitigating climate change and so this is about each and every one of us and the future generations that are going to benefit from the trees that we're planting. I am a tree sister I am a tree sister. I'm a tree sister. I'm a tree sister. Wow. I am a tree sister. I am a tree sister. <laughs>